السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين consistency my brothers and sisters is definitely something that Allah Almighty has praised and the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has spoken about how great it is to do deeds consistently and you continue to do the same deeds even if they are very small deeds one of the reasons of this is your level of consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should actually not be fluctuating but should be progressively improving you maintain it where it is and you develop it if you are doing big deeds just you know one time and then you forget about that for example i read the quran today 30 pages and then for 20 days 30 days i haven't read anything rather than that allah almighty says to us through the blessed lips of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him that it is better for you to be consistent and to read one after the other a page a day perhaps or whatever else it may be but you read every day a portion and cover that which you would have been reading in 30 days then to sit one day and cover it all because if you did it one day now you're on a spiritual high and then you become low again but if you maintain the consistency you are still connected with Allah in a similar fashion the same applies to charities try to space them out try to give them out yes in the month of Ramadan we give our zakat but here we're talking about that which is voluntary I'd rather give a dollar a day and make it $300 or $350 in the year uh, without counting some of the days like Ramadan and so on because we're going to give our zakat but I'm talking of voluntary charities or even if it's 365 days a year I'd rather give every day a dollar or a little bit more or less and maintain that consciousness of Allah and the fact that I'm doing a good deed you take a look at Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. He was one of the only ones whom, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked questions. Who visited the sick today? Who gave a charity today? Who did this today? Who did that today? And he said, I did, I did, I did, I did for all of them. So he would space out his deeds. That's loved by Allah. I've said before, if you have a rock and you have water that's dropping, droplets, on the exact spot of the rock for a prolonged time, you and I know the erosion caused will actually bore a hole through that rock. Yet, if you took water, a bucket of it, and poured it onto the rock, it will do nothing. So it's amazing how our hearts and our systems work in a similar fashion. This consistency will bring about tremendous change in you as a person. You become conscious of who you are, your Lord. You're doing good deeds every day. If you die on that day, you'd have done good deeds on that day. Another thing is good deeds not only wipe out the sin and bad effect of the bad deeds, but good deeds when they're done consistently, what they would do for you is automatically keep you away from bad deeds because you're occupying yourself with something good. You don't have the time to look into that which is bad. It is supposed to bring about that for you, my brothers and sisters. Similarly, when it comes to developing habits, we need to make sure that we build the habits. Like I say, reading the Quran every day, it's a habit building thing consistently praising Allah and doing your adhkar, the supplications and the praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and so on. Consistency. This, these adhkar should bring about a lot of goodness. When it comes to reading a book to your children of benefit, something beneficial, make sure it happens every day. When it comes to getting up, make sure you get up at a time. When it comes to fulfilling the good deeds, do it 
on a regular basis. The body has been created in a unique way. The one who created it knows what's better for it. If he tells you that there is a greater reward in maintaining consistency, you need to know that there would definitely be a greater reward in maintaining that consistency. So if you are getting used to uh, sleeping at a certain time, when you get to that time of the evening, you'll feel very sleepy. And prior to that, you won't be able to sleep. Similarly, if you get up in the morning at a certain time, get yourself used to it, it's going to help you. It's going to help you in an amazing way. You will automatically be up. This body is more like something computerized. It's timed. And subhanAllah, you get it used to a certain thing, it will automatically become accustomed to that. The same applies to your good deeds by the will of Allah. But I want to touch on something else. Certain habits that we have that we need to eradicate, you need to make sure you understand there are two aspects of it. Look, to greet someone, Assalamu Alaikum, and to smile, to make them feel important, is something many people do not do. The Prophet, peace be upon him, made every single person he met feel important. He gave them the importance. We may not be able to do that because we're human beings and we're not prophets of Allah and we're weak. But you need to strive, make an effort. Don't look miserable all the time. People will automatically dislike you because of the look on your face all the time is so miserable. Make an effort to enhance your your facial feet, your, you know, the, the expressions, subhanAllah, on your face, make an effort. These expressions can be converted into acts of worship, such as a smile and, you know, giving a person a pleasant look. It's something that people think is a weakness, yet it is an act of worship. A few days ago, I was speaking to someone and I said, brother, you're frowning and you're looking so upset and cross. What is it? He says, no, it's a weakness. How can I keep smiling at it? I said, my brother, it's an act of worship. Smile, even if people think it's a weakness, it's okay. But yes, you need to know when to be stern. You can't afford to be smiling on a, at a time when it requires you to be a little bit stern. However, my brothers and sisters, we sometimes disrespect those around us and those we communicate with without realizing. Your family members, you know, we speak about your spouse both ways. Some people say, well, you know, we keep on speaking about spouses and so on. That's because you live with them every single day. You have opportunities to engage in acts of worship on a daily basis because you're interacting with that closest circle. So make sure you greet, make sure you smile, make sure you say good things, make sure you're helpful, make sure you have not yelled and screamed and belittled because that is something unacceptable. That's those who you live with, those whom you work with, even if they work for you. It does not give you the right to, to make life difficult for them, to belittle them, to speak to them disrespectfully. Do you know that that type of behavior comes back to us, to haunt us at a later stage in our lives? And we don't know why is this happening? It's happening because people have cursed you. It's happening because you have maltreated people, you've hurt their hearts. So their hearts have actually been so hurt that now you are paying a price by, you are paying a price by feeling or going through something that's known as a payment. May Allah forgive us. My brothers, my sisters, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, خَيْرُ الْعَمَلِ مَا دِيمَ عَلَيْهِ وَإِنْ قَلْ The best of deeds, the one that is consistent, even if it is a little. So let's get used to this. By the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would definitely be able to earn the blessings that Allah has kept in the consistency. Like I said, if he has said this, he knows why he is saying it. How much Quran are you going to read? Please do half a page a day. Please do a quarter page a day, but do it every day. Uh, how much extra prayer are you going to be engaging in? Sunnah and Nafil. Many of us do the farad and we walk off saying that, well, that's what I have to do. The compulsory bit. What about the extra voluntary bit? At least choose one or two of the prayers where you can do the voluntary bit as well. Fajr being the most important one, which we should try our best never to miss. May Allah Almighty protect us. 
And if we get ourselves used to these things and we do these beautiful deeds, even if they're little, consistently, then Alhamdulillah, we will become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to address the matter of clothing as well. Sometimes we don't realize that we are clothed in such a beautiful way that would be pleasing to Allah Almighty one day and the next day we're de dressed in a way that would be pleasing to shaitan. Sorry to say that, but it's happening. Rather, we maintain a consistency throughout and we dress in an appropriate way every day in such a way that if I were to die suddenly in a crash or some circumstances or just drop dead it's happening to so many people i would be in a condition that is pleasant i would have been trying i would have had this beautiful consistency so we thank allah for giving us an opportunity to share these words of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him his advice and the words of the quran as well when we utter words allah says wa kulli ibadi yaqulu allati hiya ahsan tell my worshippers to say that which is the best. Surah Al-Hujurat warns us about belittling people, mocking at them, calling them bad names, making life difficult for people in that particular way, hurting their hearts. So if we get used to smiling, addressing people respectfully, it might seem like a small thing, but in the eyes of Allah, it's massive, it's major. Allah will give you a great reward when you do it, and there is a great punishment when you do the opposite. So therefore, my brothers and sisters, let's develop a link with Allah. Let's continue even outside of Ramadan, throughout the year, let's continue to do deeds a little. You might have been reading more in Ramadan, which is correct. You will read less perhaps outside of Ramadan, but be consistent. If you want, you do a page a day, two pages a day, keep it going. Your adhkar, keep them going. You, whatever you're doing, keep it going. If you're sitting and reading books to your children or something beneficial or an activity, keep it going. That consistency is what is very blessed. And Allah Almighty will grant us the blessings of this world and the next. May Allah help us to do good deeds and may Allah help us to maintain the consistency. Ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alf shahr